In this video, we're going to talk about the concept of complex numbers and the number i. That's script i. So far, we've been working with radicals. We simplified them. We've performed basic operations such as multiply, divide, add, and subtract. However, what would happen if we were faced with a negative value inside the square root, like the square root of negative 4? Well, if we look at the square root of 4, we know the answer is 2. Why? Because 2 times 2 equals 4. However, what about the square root of negative 4? There's nothing times itself that will give us negative 4. So the way to handle the situation is by introducing an imaginary number called i, which has a specific value of square root negative 1. So in the example of square root of negative 4, you would separate the negative by multiplying the square root of negative 1 and the square root of positive 4. Now you can replace the square root of negative 1 with i and simplify the square root of positive 4, which is 2. So now you have the expression 2i, since you want the number before i, which is your complex number, since it contains i. You also want to make sure that number goes in front of i. Basically, when you see a negative inside the square root, get rid of the negative and replace it with an i and do everything else the same as you would if it were positive. So the square root of negative 36 would just be 6i. The square root of 20, or negative 20, simplified, would be 2 root 5i. Finally, when expressing real numbers and imaginary numbers together, the real number comes first, followed by the imaginary number. For example, if you were asked to simplify the following expression, square root of 36 plus the square root of negative 4, you would express the real number first, followed by the imaginary number. The following videos will discuss working with i in terms of multiply, dividing, adding, and subtracting with real and complex numbers.